Hello everybody, Clint Seeley here. Um, today I'm going to bring you a few new tutorials that are going to cover our uh, PassionStitch.com's new monogram library. I have created an entire um, library of monogram graphics. The first one that I, want, I would like to introduce to you is the circle monogram. If you have logged into the site and you go under the members section, you'll see right here, if you click monogram library, the library of monograms is going to come up. Now this tutorial is just going to be a short introduction so I can explain exactly how to use the monogram library and in a later tutorial I'll show you how to actually bring it into the program and do different types of digitizing with the monogram library. So as you, as you probably already know when we're doing a circular monogram for each letter there needs to be three versions. A left version okay like this A for example let me go ahead and click on this A okay I have three versions of each letter set up in the entire alphabet and you can see we can go to page two and page two will come up and then we can go to page three now you'll notice in the thumbnail view so it looks like some of these are cut off a little bit don't worry they're not this is just the thumbnail view so say we were going to do the, let's say, an S. Let me click on the S. I'll click on the S, and the S page will come up. Once that loads, you'll see what the S looks like. We have a left S, we have a center or a middle S, and then we have a right S. If a part of your monogram is an S, say, like my last name is Seely, I would be downloading the S's, and then all I would be using is the center S and then over here on the left I would be downloading and inserting a C okay and then maybe an M over here and that would be my monogram now to download this is where it gets this is where it gets cool to when you're gonna download for this particular mono for this particular graphic library I did all of the hard work as far as uh, drawing everything out and converting it to a vector file Right here, the thumbnail view, this is a PNG file. If you right click on it and hit save at image as, you'll notice that it comes up as a PNG file. Now if you were to save the file and download it that way, you would need to import it and then do the quick trace to turn it to a vector. Well those are additional steps. I went ahead and did all of that work for you, so that is one way that you could do it. But save yourself the hassle and right here where it says download what you're going to download is the already converted vector file the CDR or the Corel draw file so if I click if I left click on this download right here left click it's going to start to download that particular file and you can see you'll recognize this icon right here is being a Corel Draw icon, so it's totally completely compatible with your version of Corel Draw. It'll open up already as a vector. Okay, if if you have a browser like mine, if you have a Google Chrome browser, most of the time it's when you download, it's going to show up right here. Now, if I because this is not a zip file, it's not compressed in any way. It's it's a very small file to begin with, so I don't zip them up for you. Once you download it, you could left click, you could literally left click on this guy, and it's gonna load Corel Draw Essential 6. And you can see that this is this is already curves. This is already a vec vector file. I've done that for every single one, so it's gonna make it much easier on y'all when I'm te to follow along when I'm teaching. Let me just go ahead and close this out. <clears throat> so that's basically how it works as far as selecting the monograms, the the letters of the monogram you're wanting going to want to make and downloading them, just click that download button right there. Download all of them if you want and save them in a save them in a particular folder. Okay, create your own library and then as you're following along in my tutorials, it'll be very easy for you to do so. Okay, they're all there. That's just right in the monogram library. Okay, so stay tuned for my next tutorial where I show you how to actually 
uh, import and arrange the monograms.